le perturbateur. Pas une grosse blessure. Ici, d'empoisonnement. Bah oui, c'est l'arme avec l'arme hein, découvrir qui, a... qui lui administrer le poison pour mener. Bien. Mais euh, pourquoi il me dit d'aller euh, partout C'est toutes les entrées, c'est dans l'hôtel Ok. Euh, ok, bon bah je vais juste descendre du coup. Oui, oui, oui. Je vais. Au hall, s'il vous plaît. Avec l'équipe habituelle, hein, c'est quand même mieux. Les autres sont pas stuff, donc ça serait un peu compliqué. Inspector, not a moment too soon. I've just finished my autopsy report. Ok, j'ai toujours un bon ami. Je vous écoute. Ruth Bellamy was killed by plasma damage to the upper vertebrae, the occipital bone, and the cerebellum. If it's any consolation, her death was instantaneous and painless. I've also discovered a poisonous compound in Miss Bellamy's stomach lining ingested during her last meal. Toxic, but ah, not enough to kill pas... her. Okay. Spencer Woolrich complained of a stomach ailment around the same time period. I assumed he was being, you know, Spencer. But now I'm not so sure. Almost certainly. Well, possibly they were trying to make her extremely uncomfortable, but I suppose killing her would also satisfy that criterion. The thought occurred to me. I tested this hypothesis by vacating the contents of my stomach and testing for the presence of the same toxin. Okay. Slightly elevated levels of mercury and an alarming amount of blue food coloring. But other than that, no, I'm certain it wasn't, as you put it, just the hotel food. Vous avez fait quoi, mon annonce Oh, how curious. I do believe you're right. I wonder if this has something to do with the autopsy process. She was halcy on Helen up until the moment I brought her to the operating table. But as soon as I cut her open, I stopped thinking of her as halcy on euh, Helen. Désolé de poser la question. It's as if she stopped being an icon and became a human being. I had a feeling you'd understand. What? Sorry, this mask. Sometimes I can't hear correctly. It almost sounded like you said Maria Keen was dead. <laughs> Maria's been killed. I don't understand. How? J'en sais rien, faudra trouver un marketeur pour ça. Ah oh, merde, c'est moi. Helen's signature weapon. She brought it with her to the hotel. After we discovered Helen's body, Keen inspected her hotel room. Oui, bah oui. The needler was gone. Rather harmless on its own. Common ingredient in medicine, but it can have a lethal application. Potassium chloride, when delivered in a cocktail of neurotoxin and paralytic, leads to cardiac arrest. Oh, merciful law. I'm so sorry, Maria. Maria and I were frequently at loggerheads. We disagreed on practically everything. It didn't help that I'm on Mr. Kincannon's payroll and Maria is a Rizzo's loyalist. Was a Rizzo's loyalist. Apologies, Inspector. I don't have the heart to continue talking at the moment. Thank you for your time. My apologies. I'm not in the mood to socialize. Ok, ça m'avance pas à grand chose tout ça. Euh... <rire> Obtenir un accès VIP. Est-ce que la réceptionniste pourrait m'aider Bon, j'essaie de la voler, hein, visiblement, c'était pas un dossier. The Grand Colonial Front Desk warmly welcomes you, Inspector. It's a pleasure to see you again. How may I be of assistance to you, Inspector I'd love to, Inspector, but I don't really have the authority. Moreover, the guests were promised exclusivity. If I let you up there, I'll never hear the end of it.
Hmm. That's a good point. If they give me guff, I can just tell them that they're obstructing justice. That has a nice ring to it. Let me just set you up with VIP guest floor access. Done. You can now come and go as you please. What is this up, Lexi? Il est pas là. Il est dans une autre partie. Euh, ok, il y a suite privée du grand collègue. Euh, Qu'est-ce que je fais ici Euh. <rire> Mental note. Next time. Qu'est-ce que je dois... Euh... Multiple discrepancies detected. First discrepancy. A woolly cow is ah oui, c'est la vache qu'ils avaient volé. Woolly cows are an import species for the wilderness exploitation reserve and are incapable of affording upper class accommodation. <laughs> Second discrepancy. This woolly cow is dangerously inebriated with Rizzo Spectrum Vodka. Alcohol sanguinization ratio exceeds recommended maximum. An accurate observation, Inspector. This woolly cow is suffering from symptoms consistent with a hangover. A brief survey of this area reveals that the most recent occupants were athletes belonging to the Rizzo's Rangers 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 Club. Insufficient data. Oui, a brief survey of localized property damage divided by the area of this room yields the following estimate. This unit was likely occupied by every member of the Rizzo's Rangers. Minus one. Ok, donc bah, ça c'est un truc que je connais déjà. Hotel rooms don't feel like home until you mess them up some. This one's real cozy. What do you want to know? Non mais je connais juste qui je m'en fous. What? I wish I knew. Must have been something I did. At the picnic, Helen just kept saying she didn't want to drag me into her world. Ton, ton arme? Maybe ton one of the non, higher ups in motion pictures was giving her trouble over us. I don't know. Possible. I tried to understand, but I don't. What do you? Ok. Euh, bon, bon, bon. Nice work, Captain. Ok. Exceptionnel dans celle-ci. Bonjour, monsieur le garde. Il me permet de fouiller un peu dans les chambres. Great work. Juste une dedans. Ok. Euh, du coup, cet étage ne me sert à rien. Parce que si c'était pour trouver le mari, euh, enfin, l'ex petit copain, pas pour le coup, euh, je l'avais déjà trouvé dans une autre partie. De la ville, je dois encore cliquer là-dessus. Qu'est-ce que j'ai loupé Parler à ce que le rapport d'autopsie. Mais euh, j'ai personne à parler à mon étage. C'est dans la suite 
J'ai pas tout compris là. Ah non, c'est bien ici. Par là. Qu'est-ce que j'ai... J'ai fouillé comme un pied, moi. Ouf What Ouais, j'ai vraiment fouillé. J'ai pas trouvé le truc. Il s'est passé quelque chose, je crois, ici. Et je pense pas que ce soit du ketchup. Initiating enter protocol. Now, simulating familiar and welcoming demeanor. Burbage 3001 is trained to recognize all board approved actors. Greetings, fellow star. Your performance in Maverick Johnston's latest drama was memorable. Burbage 3001's programming is frequently upgraded to adhere to board certified standards. The most recent upgrade was performed by Spencer Wolbanter Protocol Exhausted, reverting to default behavior, grieving and Burbage 3001 was designed to disrupt Halcyon Helen's Monopoly of Burbage 3001. Any peut le faire en moins bien. This unit has been programmed to simulate exist this. C'est chiant quand tu parles. Ouais. Euh. Oh, C'est pas du vol ici, donc du coup, il n'y a pas de tir dessus. Du coup, du coup, je vais interroger la personne qui est à côté. Bonjour. Je sais pas pourquoi je dois vous interroger. About time you arrived. I see you haven't dressed the way I asked you to, but I suppose that was expecting too much of a non Je vous emmerde. Lout. Expect a complaint to management. Now, unless you'd like to waste more of my time, I suggest we begin rehearsing. Ready? <coughs> You've fallen right into my trap, Captain. Oh, don't bother to fight back. You cannot hope to stop me from installing philosophism as the system's reigning ideology. Et tu vis encore dans ton monde Là, je suis un enquêteur, hein. je suis pas un autre euh, comédien. <rire> je peux répondre. Ouais, vous, comment vous avez deviné que j'étais capitaine <rire> Sortir votre âme. Ah Euh... La charme, là. Ouais. Ok. Hein, ah, quoi Un quoi, c'est le plus... Euh... <rire> Well, that wasn't in the script, but you did at least convincingly sound ah, like an idiot. Ça, ça Congratulations. Uh, wait a moment. You're not wearing a bellhop's ID, which must mean you're not Owen's understudy. <laughs> that man can't even be relied upon to find his own replacement. Oh no, this is curious indeed. Who are you, and how did you get in here? Why did you start with that? You're here to investigate me. Oh, I assure you, I'm nothing special. Just an old crook with more money mm, than way. time. That was a quote from the retiree's revenge. In... Oui, 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 now, oui. what shall I sign first? No. Je suis pas là pour un autographe. Do you mean to say you are not a fan? Well, then how did you get in here? The only staffer cleared for guest room entry is the inspector for Bellamy's murder. Oh. Oh! <coughs> Hello. Ahem. <coughs> Ahem. Uh, hi. Uh, terribly sorry, Inspector. I didn't realize it was you. Uh, understand that I am beyond willing to comply with your search for the, dire. For the <laughs> fiend that did Bellamy in. No, now that I look at you, <laughs> oh, you don't ask me anything at all. I, I might even. Oh, have you now? 
Please do go on. Uh, uh, don't leave me in suspense. I did indeed. With Halcy and Helen parading her fame about, I was left without an acting partner. Burbage is no exception. His acting protocols <laughs> were nothing short of a joke. So I decided to make the way he bungled about with that weapon of his hardly befitted a dissident. So I modified it as well. I'm quite used to being. Mm hmm. Certainly. But one quick question before uh, we see? begin, if I may. How was it that Bellamy met her end? How, how awful. Whoever did this must have been quite heartless. I was meditating, of course. That's how I get into character. Respectfully, Inspector, it is rather counterproductive to commune with others while oh, meditating. All actors have their methods. And this has been mine ever since I met that wonderful prophet of profitability. She taught me it for my role in The Unemployed Cometh. I had to lie face down on artificially heated pavement. The director wanted our suffering to be convincing. Needless to say, being able to leave my body helped to mitigate the pain both during the eight-hour shoot and with the second-degree burns afterwards. I owe that woman much. Yeah, actually, only since I've been at the Colonial. The unemployed Cometh was shot on sight. I cannot recommend her services enough. Uh, no. If you haven't been to see her yet, you really should. I don't know. I'll... Bellamy has been my co star no, oui, throughout the bien. autumn of my career. I should like to think I knew her. In fact, I cannot name a single role in the last ten years that did not involve her in some way. <laughs> oh, it wasn't. And don't think I haven't picked up on your. Oh. Resenting Bellamy is one thing, but. Killing her is another completely. It's also beneath me. Comment auriez-vous tué la victime si c'était vous le meurtrier? Oh, come now, Inspector. What do you take me for? I'm an old man. I neither have the time nor the willpower to kill people for fun. Besides, I have my. I suppose. Indeed. The agonizing bowel pain was most undignifying. While I've certainly had no shortage of inadequate hotel meals, this was most explicitly pronounced. I suspect poison. And who would be most likely to poison me but Chef Anwar? Oh, we've clashed almost non-stop about his slop preparation. He must have tainted my meal in retaliation. None that I can think of. I treat all hotel staff equally. Ouais, mais vu comment je me parlais au début, je pense que tout le monde te déteste. That they deserve. Is that a jibe? Could you imagine the tabloid headlines? Spencer Woolrich, eighth. How alarming! Whoever targeted her was certainly targeting me. Je pense que c'est plutôt toi, la victime collatérale, n'est-ce pas? Oh, oh, that's very good to know. Perhaps the poisoner simply meant to incapacitate us both. Uh, dis very well. Go, oh, but I. Oui, j'ai déjà tout demandé. Vous êtes cute. I'm sure you. You. Allez hop. Aha! To the lobby we go! Euh, je sais même pas si t'es dans la suite peut-être. 
Je dois faire mon rapport, c'est la suite. Non. Ah, le cuisinier, bah oui. Yes. Are you here for the double rack of smoked sprat? Well, I'm sorry. Oh, don't give me that look. Let me see if I can pencil you in for later. Actually, what am I saying? I can't. I. Weren't you listening? We're reserved solid for the next month. I'm sorry, but you'll really need to order in advance. A big deep. Is this some kind of a joke? <laughs> We're not able to take on new orders at this time. I told you. No, no, we don't. Why are you doing this? Please stop. Here, just take it. Just take it and don't ask me for anything ever again. Je énervé. Crime or no crime, I must keep my head on my work. One does not simply become the head chef in all of Eridanos by fretting over irrelevant happenings. Euh, tout seul dans, ce, dans cette cuisine quand même. Well, that's not entirely true. There are the purpleberry orchards and um No, you're right. I can't afford to skimp. Who exactly are you anyhow? What is it you want? Oh, you're the inspector they told me would be coming by. Now I feel like a buffoon. Yes, uh, you can ask me what you like. Oh, un poisson dans une nourriture, par exemple. I don't know how much help a chef can be. Of course I did. I would never allow anyone else to touch the meals of so important a guest. Well, well, yes, I'm positive. Why? How? Oh, fine. There may have been times I left Helen's meal unsupervised. Spencer Woolrich and Bellhop Owens were underfoot in the kitchen as I was preparing Helen's meal. Either one of them could have tampered with the food when I was fetching ingredients. Well, it's a breach of professionalism, of course. Why else would I worry about it? Well, I suppose that's as good a point as any I've heard. I may have taken some time to engage in a teensy bit of recreational drinking, and consequently, I may have been somewhat less than coherent after... <laughs> I understand your reluctance, but... Oh! Oh! I just remembered! The kitchen security camera. It'll prove I'm telling the truth about everything. Constable Keen has access to the Elle security morte. footage in her office at the spaceport. If you visit her, you can figure out what truly happened with Helen's meal. Yes, but not specifically. Owens often procures exotic ingredients from the creatures at the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve. Our guests can be rather... particular. Let's not talk about the incident with the Raptodon pheromone glands. It's always hard to say when Owens might be back. If I were you, I'd make a trek to the reserve myself. Otherwise, who knows how long you'll have to wait. Mr. Woolrich often finds the hotel's meals wanting he seems to enjoy complaining in person while i could appreciate someone with a discerning palate for once i believe that mr woolrich simply enjoys the attention he gets well, so if you okay. wish to speak with him mr woolrich can most oui, like thank you okay ah.
Euh, pourtant, euh, c'était pas un bagage 6 que je devais aller voir Ah, c'est sur le trajet, visiblement, je ne peux point TP. Euh, c'est pas bon signe. Je dans un endroit qui n'est pas censé être euh, habité. Je vais trouver les restes d'un bagagiste. Oui. Et ils ont repop. Ok. C'est que tout ça. Ça peut beaucoup m'aider tout ça. C'est quoi ça Petit point de Ça va. Hein. Ça me sert à rien d'aller ici, ok. Ok. Euh, journal. Euh, récupérer la vidéo surveillance. Ah mais du coup, euh, le problème c'est que la policière elle est morte. Ah, j'ai mon arme qui clignote, ça doit être euh, cassé. Bon, ça va, il restait encore un petit peu réparé. Yes. Bon, celle-là aussi, il a pêché. Oh, là, moi aussi. Ok. Du coup, ça a débloqué le... Change sur la cuisine. Récupérer. Faire parler Spencer. Et... Euh, il est euh, au rez-de-chaussée ou il est euh, sur VIP uh -huh. euh, VIP. C'est ça. I could not have waited another instant for your presence. The Canes and the Canids, Act 2, Scene 6. I played a love-struck janitor. Ask me anything at all. I might even give you a Si ça se trouve, je vous répondrai franchement, quoi Oh, have you now Please do go on. Uh, uh, don't leave me in suspense. Ah. <laughs> What? 
That damn bellhop promised discretion. Well, if you must know, it's um, an appetite suppressant. How do you think I keep my form so lithe? Terror egg glands keep me from feeling hunger pangs. Uh, I've never heard of that. You sure you're talking about terror rays? Their bits tend to give folks the runs. Oh, that's it. I'm firing my nutritionist this instant. That, yes. Yes. I distinctly recall ordering an alcoholic beverage with my meal. This hotel is certainly bringing a new meaning to the phrase rotgut. Management shall receive the complaint to end all complaints. Tampering? No, no, no. I just happened to be passing through the kitchen and saw a dish that looked good. If being hungry is a crime, you better indict three-fourths of Halcyon. Oh, uh, well, there's... Maybe I just wanted to see what was in it. Oh, law. What a pathetic defense. As it so happens, I may not have had the terror egg gland acquired for personal use. <laughs> I, but I but may <laughs> have placed it in uh, Bellamy's meal. But before you indict me, please, just listen. I wasn't trying to kill her. I will. I will. Terror ray glands aren't supposed to be lethally poisonous. They're supposed to cause extreme lethargy, as if you'd inhaled several quarts of Spectrum Vodka. She would have had to eat six or seven of the glands to die, and even then it would be an extended, arduous process. No, really, you must listen. I wasn't trying to kill Bellamy. I only wanted her to be incapacitated during the Brown unveiling. With her out of commission, the next available celebrity, myself, would get to host the unveiling. Je sais très bien que c'est pas le présent qui l'a tué de toute façon. Administrator of my misdeeds. If he learns the truth, what's left of my career will be left in shambles. Tell him, uh, tell him it was a, a poisonous mushroom, or a bite from some poisonous insect, an accident. Quoi je I promise I shall make up for my actions. Pay to erect a statue in Helen's honor, or perhaps even dedicate a performance to her memory. My law, if you aren't a sadist. <laughs> bah oui. If I have a coronary before you make your decision, I will do my utmost to haunt you. Alors, du coup, euh, faire rapport à l'administrateur. Ok. Mais après ça, je vais devoir choisir. Aha. Next. Mais je sais pas qui c'est, du coup. Inspector. Quel indice. Excellent. I trust you have a name for our poisoner. Oh, I am disappointed. I'd always believed Mr. Woolrich a man of high character. It pains me to order the arrest and detention of someone I admired. I'd like you to continue investigating Helen's murder. You've found the poisoner. But her killer remains at large. 